Hi, this is Mike, and in this demo, I'm going to look at the Code tab group from Java Flight Recorder. As you can see here, I already have a flight recording loaded, and I'm going to let's go ahead and dive in here to the various tabs on the um, for the Code tab group. So the first one here, we have the Overview tab, and that shows us basically the the main focus of this group is to show you where your program spends the most time running. So in this case, uh, the first table here shows us which packages have the most activity. We can see here that that Java util has the most. And then um, down below in the table below, we can see what classes have the most activity. So in this case, HashMap seems to be taking the most time followed by Concurrent Locks Abstract Queued Synchronizer. So let's look at what some of the other tabs show us. If I click on the Hot Methods tab, this shows me which methods um, had the most activity um, during the recording. And one thing always to keep in mind is your sample count to make sure this is a pretty low sample count. So I don't know how big a conclusions we could draw from that. But anyway, if I go ahead and I click on that method, then down below here I can get a stack trace both for um, predecessor method calls. So if I click this, I can expand the subtree. I'm right clicking that, expand subtree, and then I can see a stack trace of calls prior to the call above. And in addition, if you see here in this other sub tab, I have the same thing for succeeding calls. I can do the same thing, expand the subtree, and see what gets called after the method that's uh, highlighted above. So very useful information um, to look and see what's going on with your application. Um, so the next uh, tab here is, is the call tree. And uh, that once again shows us the same sort of thing where the most uh, time your program spent running, but is focused mainly, it uh, basically allows you to look at the stack trace, the complete stack trace, for a particular method. So in this case, the repaint manager run method is being called the most. And um, if I right click that and expand the subtree, this may take a second because this is a pretty big subtree, we can see where um, what's being called in, in this particular um, method tree. We can see there's a lot of detail there. And you can see there a percentage of time spent. Um, so pretty cool stuff. You can get detailed information about all your methods, what's going on, who's calling what. Um, so we have the call tree, the method. So let's look at exceptions next. And um, this just shows any exceptions or errors you might have had. So you can drill down into those. So for example, here I have a uh, there's an overview there and it shows that I have um, 57 exceptions. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the exceptions tab and see what the exceptions were and I can see what thread called them. No such field exception. So I can go ahead and um, click on that. And then once again down here I'll see um, a stack trace that I can once again expand and get a complete list of um, method calls for that stack trace. Okay, and then errors there. Um, so we just have the one class there for errors. All right, and then finally we have compilations and class loading, and those are are basically just um, counts of uh, the number of compilations that occur. And then here I'm just showing the class loading one, where it shows the number of classes loaded or unloaded during your recording. So that's basically it for the code tab group.